What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the runoff where we left off, the army under Frederick Carlson is attacking Barra, and we are determined to keep pressure up against Indian forces. So without further ado, let's crack on. They do have some mortars, so we need to move up in pretty quick order. Um, however, we do have pretty elite forces, and I don't think it's going to be that much of a concern for us. So let's attack. At some point, I do need to refit army out with additional howitzers. Because right now, the and it's it's not terrible to fight against the Indians. Sorry guys, my throat's getting a bit scratchy. There we go. Um, it's not bad to fight against the Indian factions without howitzers. Even if it's not, not just for firing quick climb, it's just, they're just really good for setting or pr putting pressure up against putting pressure up against enemy units even like in their rear area so my howitzers no my full artillery is going to stay here and we are going to need a block of line maybe something a bit more manageable a block of line like this advancing on the left Like this, advancing on the right, with cavalry support to push up, general on the left. have opened up. Fortunately our guns can't get a good angle on them. The first shells are crashing around the second regiment of foot. Not even shooting. To be honest, let's just have a crack. Nope. What about the ones? Why can't you guys? Okay, let's get a bit more aggressive with our line. So they've got a with these lances and musketeers, it prevents an easy breakthrough. It's my artillery just keep engaging the bulk of the line. Nice of them to keep reorganising. Oh, they can't shoot the camels, sadly. Let's just push up. This line, like so. Let's bring my cavalry. I'll run my cavalry over here because now they've got a, an opportunity in that gap. This line unit needs to run into position. Where's the first Kalmar? They're going to be in a great position to open up on the bowmen. So let's take. Kili. 
Now's the time to push up my lines. Bows taken care. Well, that's the mortars taken care of. Come on, lads. It's the mortars taken care of. Derv, she's charging in, trying to take me out. Let's try to hit them as they're shaken. Now they're eager, so that's not quite so good. Charge the cavalry forward, intercept. Regiment of horse out of there. So we've repulsed cavalry attack. Gating camel nomads. Our cavalry's routing an unfortunate direction. Seems to be keeping their infantry occupied. Okay, let's push you up to secure that flank. Push you guys up to maintain a good field of fire. Regiment of Force came back. Take out the camel gunners, they all. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy drifting. <laughs> okay, let's get them out of there. Stuff. Our flanking maneuver has been 100% effective. First Kalmar waiting for troops to get in position. Present. Reloading. of dead troops. Okay, let's fall. You guys back to form this line. You guys form up like so. Just a little game of repositioning. Now 
ain't gonna fly, see? Everyone, let's end the battle there. That was a good victory, solid victory. Lost 200 men. The city is ours. Let's repair it and replenish. Naturally, we must feed more men into the first Kalmar. This army, just in this straggling stack. Take the bridge. You're advancing. I don't want to attack you. You're getting you're getting positioned ready to attack Mysore. Christiansen, why is there no water in your canteen? Okay, you have no objectives to so go back to Hyderabad. You're advancing towards Ujjain. Ahmedabad's under siege. Soon Akbarabad will be under siege. Awesome. Let's make sure we're taxing places. Everyone's still... Nope. Good stuff. It's a great engineer school. Swinbera. Oh, there is still an army. So I don't want to upgrade any of this stuff yet. Because you might just immediately go and knock them down. Let's upgrade the chapter school. All the ports that can be upgraded are being upgraded. I mean, we're at peace with Dagestan, but it won't, we won't be for long. That does mean we may end up being coming to war against Russia. So if we declare on Dagestan, the only ones to worry about is Russia. We're at war with the Mughal Empire, we're at war with Persia. So if Russia declares on us, well, we need to be ready. So this army is good enough to protect the fort. But let's bolster them with a unit of heavy horse howitzers. 24 pounder guard artillery. Let's disband these conscripts. Which you know you need a bit something a bit quicker than that. Let's get some 12 pounders. Two 12s and a unit of heavy horse artillery. That's the biggest thing that will turn you into a battlefield unit or battlefield army. Get a unit of hussars as well. Good stuff. They'll take their time to get over there, but we've got time. So you need to be ready. It's been reward with pressure, and right now pressure's unguarded, but that's not our. It's not our focus. Our focus remains India, of which we're doing a very good job. We've got a good minister. Our justice minister is excellent. Treasury is not terrible, but I'd like to see if we can get better. We're a constitutional monarchy. Let's risk it. Oh. Damn. You will also get into position to attack Mysore. Because we need to take well, the second we declare war, we need to take it. Like we can't just let it. We can't let them carry on because they've got another full stack out here. So we need to attack this city and destroy it. Yep. Cool. End turn. Let's 
So let's see how the world reacts. I do need to start beefing up my navies, really. Like I want my Baltic fleet, I want an Atlantic fleet, Caribbean fleet. The only thing's stopping. Pfft, no. You betrayed me too many times, Poland. Hmm. The Ottomans, good. The Mughal Empire cannot respond because there's nothing they can do. We've broken. We've effectively broken their forces. There's, there's no nothing they can do to actually cause us problems. So we could do some amphibious assaults up the Gulf. We could do a up Turek, was it? I think when there's the British troops landed on. For plantations in this region. Oh. Building pla Okay, so let's dump a load of money on Hispaniola. Then let's upgrade some of my plantation stuff. So let's take. I don't know why there's lots of. Oh. I don't know why there's lots of rake spawning here. Well, there's a pleasure place. Okay, let's drop some spies onto the continental US. Or what would have been the continental US. No, it's just France. But let's drop our spies off. So let's get you up to here. You go... Keep an eye on the 13 colonies of Charleston, see what they're doing. another church school. Keep upgrading our economic stimulus package. And let's see if we can take this army out of Berra. I can if I untax them. Just hit Sayyid Hassan. Just a quick battle. Ah. That's not annoying at all. Let's pull you back, just in case they try anything cheeky. Not that I think they will, but that's just frustrating. Elites, got some elite sepoy, sepoy troops. Let's, let's combine you into them. Can these guys can take advantage of the these troops in Kutak, but it also means I can upgrade some of these areas. Until we start getting missionaries, I'm going to have to keep building church schools, or I don't have to, but I kind of want to, to make this playthrough more about transfer, transporting our culture. Well, Danish culture. That's reinforcements for the fort. Let's upgrade this in Sweden. So you, everyone except the sloops, go to Portsmouth. Um, let's get rid of the brig. Ah, can't afford anything. Sad face. Minus one campaign movement range. It's one of my damn, one of my damn educate uh, gentlemen. Cock that up. Minus one morale for gentlemen in battles. Minus one to morale in battles. Plus ten percent movement range. Plus three commander and leading infantry. You damn good general. It's going to be sad when you die eventually, either from my fault or. Someone else's. Okay, can you take... 
Maintain it for now, because I want to attack somewhere else. Let's push you up towards Akbarabad. Same with you. So then let's use order to move you over here. To use Comrade Order with his very elite army to attack the city of Ahmedabad. Let's just keep keep the prey able to to regroup and fight against me. Because right now, once you got over the initial hump and we fought those massive battles in central India, actually have done rather well. Okay, so this is a slight rise. Will be good for artillery. Nowhere else is that brilliant. Even then, might just be over here. I'm definitely going to break this army up. Oh, that's why I sent those units up there, wasn't it? To break up this army and to spread the elite troops around a bit. Oh, I am an idiot. Sweet. Keep them on round shot for now, just to try to build up some experience. Shells or carcass shot? Carcass shot. That's what that is. Nothing. Let's run my fusiliers because they're starting to get into a position or I want my fusiliers to be able to actually do some get some range damage in. In which case I might switch to quick climb, start knocking out some of their key units. Same with this infantry. Hindu warriors. They are Hindu warriors. Come on, fusiliers need to do some good work. Some friendly kills there. Actually push them around the Yep, so their cavalry's chased after me, but they've bashed into our line. While well, not on the charge. Okay, let's turn off the quick line now, because it's not necessarily needed. Push up these two. Chop through the unpopulous because the sea quarries are routed. Push my cavalry through again.
send my heavy cover after the sea warriors. Uh, cover on the flank. And camel nomads. But don't worry, we're rolling up the right flank. Charge the marines straight into the Hindu warriors. into the Eastern Warriors. Let's get all my howitzers aiming at the general. Some infantry routed, which is a shame. Ah, it's because their cavalry started firing carbines at me. Return. Kill the mortars. There we go. Screw you, cavalry. Everyone aim at the aim at the elephants. My infantry can take care of the rest. I they were charging, I they were throwing their heads around. Cannonballs inbound. How it's the shots inbound? I see them in the sky, the general's dead. You are so dead. Slaughter. Okay, let's speed up time, because right now... Absolutely continue for the moment. Because this is a relatively fresh army. So let's try to bloody them somewhat. That would probably have been better to get a mortar crew, but to be honest, it's a city battle, so I don't care if the mortars get away. Decisive victory, damn right. It's two Mughals. Mughals. Bam! So let's pull. First of all, combine the fusiliers. See if we can maintain that three. Nope, sadly not. So let's see if we can just get it. Order. We can group them in. Good. Can't build anything here or repair any cities. Malwai is ours. Well, Ahmedabad is ours. Pushing on to Barabad and Hindustan and lots of other nice places. Um, I'm going to hit enter and see what happens. So our Mysore assault forces get in position. Our reinforcements move in to support the front against the Russians. It will not be long before we attract the attentions of someone like France. And when we do, Whew. See, you notice how I went just completely silent? I was thinking, have I just lost an entire part and two city battles? 
Because if I did, I'd immediately just stop, stop recording, stop everything, just go chill out for a bit, because that'll really wind me up. <laughs> I should save. Tomorrow I should probably cut the recording and then start it again before I hit end turn. Yep, Dagestan are reinforcing their front, but it's not going to do them any good because we've got an extremely elite set of armies on their doorstep. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help Except your you all accept grow. the guns. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Okay, I want to deal port with this in a allows minute. The construction of Good. Let's move these guys in. Then move you back to the guns. Because you are in dire need of replenishment on, in, in all cases. Just across the board. Just replenish. Got some good elite guns. Port, port Bandar. Let's make it a trade port and let's upgrade this you to a church school. Keep replenishing all this stuff. Replenish the armies. Upgrade the tea plantation and the port. Let's move these guys just out of range of Ahmedabad Akbarabad first. Maintain siege. Maintain siege. There you go. So we're moving on to Akbarabad. I still really don't want to attack here because it's got. It doesn't have walls, actually. It doesn't have walls. Let's take Mr. <laughs> Mr. Benzer. And we go attack Calcutta. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Sultan Calcutta. Cheers, everyone.